Hello kids, welcome to our class. Today we're going to see a new story. This is the story of Pity Peacock. You can use your pace of word building or animal science. Page 15. Pity Peacock liked to find things out for himself. When Pity Peacock saw a sign that said wet paint, do you think Pity Peacock believed it? No! Pity Peacock had to touch it to be sure. That's why the wet paint sign had Pity Peacock's footprints on it. One day, Mrs. Peacock said to her son, Pity, the stove may possibly be hot because I prepared potatoes and peas earlier for Papa Peacock. Do you think that Pity Peacock was particularly careful not to touch the stove? No, Pity Peacock had to see for himself. That's why Pity Peacock often had a bandage somewhere on his body. Page 16. When someone said, Look out, Pity Peacock, a car is coming, do you think he believed them and jumped quickly out of the path of the approaching car? No, Pity Peacock didn't unless he plainly saw the car himself. That's why Pity Peacock always had a few important tail feathers missing. Page 17. One day, Pity Peacock found a strange, peculiar new fruit. At least he thought it was a fruit. As Pity Peacock pondered what kind of fruit it could possibly be, he became positive that this peculiar fruit wasn't a peach, a pear, or a pineapple. Look at this, Pity Peacock called to his peacock friends. This is some new type of fruit, I think. No, Pity Peacock, one friend replied. It is plain to see that it is a pepper. Do you suppose Pity Peacock believed them? No! It's so pretty and shiny. I am sure it's a sweet, delicious fruit, Pity Peacock said. Go ahead, one of his Peacock friends said. Taste one and prove it. You will find out. Just try it. Now, Pity Peacock sometimes remembered his footprints on the wet paint sign and his bandages and his missing tail feathers. Sometimes Pity Peacock knew that he had made a mistake by not believing what he had been told. Just for a moment, Pity Peacock thought he should listen and pay attention. Well, Pity Peacock said, perhaps this is not the type of fruit you eat. This is the type you use to make pies. Everyone laughed. Pies? Pity Peacock, you don't make pies after peppers. Pity Peacock asked, haven't you heard of pepper pies? Actually, Pity Peacock hadn't heard of pepper pies either. You're going to make a pepper pie, Pity Peacock? Sure, Pity Peacock said, beginning to pick peppers. A pepper pie may be good. Page 18. Well, Pity Peacock's pie was soon complete, as he carried proudly to Mother's Peacock oven. Just wait, Pity Peacock said, with a pleasant expression. You will probably like it. Peppers are hot, Pity Peacock. They are so hot. They make you feel like your head will pop off. One Peacock said. Peppers are almost as hot as firecrackers, Pity Peacock. Another Peacock said. Pity Peacock laughed and shut the door to the hot oven. Pity Peacock said. Let's just wait and see. Page 19. Now, I have never baked a pepper pie and I have never talked to anyone who has baked a pepper pie. But this is what happened next. There was a hissing sound, then a popping sound, and then a couple of bangs. Then, with one tremendous whoosh, the door of the oven popped off and up, up, up went the pie. That pepper pie went up over the heads of the peacocks, above the treetops, up into the clouds, and was never seen again. Pity Peacock, his friends called. Your pie, it's blue sky high. I know, said Pity Peacock. Would you think a pepper pie could blow sky high? I should have listened and learned. I should have believed. Others know more than I do. 
From now on, this peacock is going to respectfully listen to his parents, preacher, and others, announced Pity Peacock. So kids, we need to listen when someone is talking to us. If they say something, we need to believe it. So we don't have any injury or bandages or just a disgraceful mistake, okay? On page 21, color the picture. Have fun. On page 22, cross out the one in each row that it's different. On page 23, color the one in each row that it's different. Thanks for watching. See you until next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe.